How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a all-new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday. We're on Tuesdays. I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Tumbleweed Pine Palace. I am back again with a all new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, and I am back with a fan favorite floor plan by the name of the Tumbleweed. Unless you've been under a rock or not subscribed to our YouTube channel like you should be, then you already know this floor plan here behind me by the name of the Tumbleweed. But I have brought it back again today because you keep asking for it. No matter if it's a first time viewer of the channel or someone who has been a subscriber from the beginning you love the tumbleweed and you always ask mr tiny can you bring it back in a different finish can you add a different color well you've asked for a exterior in green so here we go with the pine palace here behind me and this home is great because it is coming in at 15 feet wide 34 feet long and that's including the eight foot front porch and it's on sale today for 95k 95,000 you'll get everything you see besides furniture and decor and speaking of the pine palace we have the exterior base in pine forest because you asked for it and here you have it we've also added the addition of the cedar and a red wood stain around your doors windows your porch posts railing tops beam and crow's foot and then we topped it all off with a black metal roof. So that pairing all together gives you 30 years of warranty on your siding, your metal roof, and even your tortoise brown composite Trex decking. Now, follow me up onto this eight foot porch and you'll see here that all the windows of this home are also black. You can see that it pairs with the interior porch ceiling that is finished out in a Southern yellow pine stained hickory. We've already pre-wired and braced for an exterior ceiling fan. We've given you two exterior can lights. You'll see here the exterior siding is in a board and back pattern. So that again is that James Hardy that we know and love. And we really think that that came out very nicely compared with the redwood cedar stain. We've even added a transom window up above the front door. Again, those black windows make this cabin come to life and pair great with the black magic painted front door that is 36 inches and blinds and glass and again we're sitting out here in the cold so follow me inside where we can go into a cabin where it's going to be nice and warm and inviting and this is definitely warm and inviting as we enter because of the cabin style aesthetic that you see here today first off as soon as you enter the home what you're going to notice is this staircase wall has the southern yellow pine accent in a hickory stain and trimmed out in the gray stain finish that you'll see around all of our doors and windows of this home. The focal point, I believe, is going to be the southern yellow pine interior ceiling from front to back of this home that is stained in the hickory finish as well. You'll see down low that we have the Texas oak flooring going throughout this home, so it is all good in the wood right here in the tumbleweed pine palace we see with 15 feet of interior living space you have the space from this wall all the way to the end of the stair wall here is 96 inches this allows you plenty of space to utilize whether you want to do a smaller size sofa or if you wanted to go big boy style you could fit that in here with ease also notice that we have the triple picture windows down low so you can look out onto your property and enjoy the view all day long. We've paired that up top with a double clear story window right there for you. And then right here on the front of the home, we have 
the built-in entertainment center. We chose to finish it out with the hickory cabinets. We kept the traditional cabinet knobs on the cabinets going throughout the entire home. We've topped that with a sable soapstone countertop. And then you have the space right here where you could either mount your TV or place it conveniently on the entertainment center. Let's get a look of the front wall here in the tumbleweed pine palace. You'll see we've got a window there, the 36 inch blinds and glass door. Again, if you want some privacy, close that off and you've got it. Up top, you see that we've got the transom window where you can look through that window and actually see the interior porch ceiling in that southern yellow pine. So it looks like a continuous vision from the inside to outside. Again, the tumbleweed floor plan is very popular because of the functionality and flow of the floor plan. And you'll see here, separating the living room from the kitchen is the island where we have the cabinets here for additional storage. Again, we normally have that face towards the kitchen side for storage, but again, we've got options. So we flipped it around today to make it a little bit easier to see how these islands are finished out for you. We have the elongated sides, so that way if you wanted to have some stools, you could have some space to sit at, enjoy a meal, or you could just simply use this island as a prep space. I have a lot of clients, again, if you're subscribed like you should be, I have a series by the name of Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny, where I travel to our clients' properties after the point of purchase, so I can put my money where my mouth is and show you that the quality of our homes last a lifetime and our clients enjoy it. And in some of those videos, when I went to visit some of my clients, they actually, when they have family or friends over, they move the island out onto the front porch and that offers additional seating space for them or they play cards. There's all kinds of things you can do, but with it being mobile on wheels, you have the option to utilize it as you wish. Right here in the kitchen, we have the built on pantry right here that sits on the countertop again gives you plenty of space for you to add all the items that you want to the hinges are hidden in our cabinets as well we finished out the soffit in southern yellow pine in a gray stain to kind of pair that all together and it complements that sable soapstone countertop tremendously we have the one basin stainless steel farm sink with the attachments. When I say attachments, you're getting things like the cutting boards, the drainers. We have all that here for your liking. We also have the mowing faucet here in the nickel finish. We have the window up above so you can look out onto your property. Again, when we do the little things like finish out the soffit, that gives you the opportunity to add in the LED cam light right here. So that way, without having to turn on all the lights in the model, you could easily flip that switch and sit here, wash your hands, do whatever you need to, and go about your business. Right here in the kitchen, you'll see as well, we've complemented the appliances with a stainless steel finish with the smooth top oven. We have the microwave up top and then the side-by-side -side fridge with ice in the door as well. And again, this flows so perfectly throughout. Notice as we make our way back, before we go into the bedroom, we'll get there in a moment. We'll actually let you get a good look of these interior doors finished out in the stained hickory. So that pairs so perfectly with the trimming and everything that we have there and just bringing that cabin aesthetic to life. We have already have it prepped for you here for a compact stackable washing machine and dryer. Again, guys, this fits in so great with a compact stackable right here behind the pocket door that leads into the bathroom in the hickory stain. You'll see as you come in that we have, again, a built on linen cabinet right there. Sometimes we'll do the floating cabinets on this one. We kept it where it sits on the countertop just so you have an additional space there uh, to do so. We have the drawer bank down below with the three drawers. We have the banjo style countertop that wraps above your toilet. So it gives you extra space here to store items as you please. We have the illusion window, add some privacy while still bringing in some natural light. And then right here, we'll make our way into the 48 inch tile shower. This is going to be the smokehouse tile in a vertical pattern with the haystack grout. That goes together like peanut butter and jelly. If you are looking for a cabin interior aesthetic, it still looks like you're in the woods, but this is tile real tile for you and we have your soap dishes 
right here uh, in the corner. And then we have the detachable sprayer. Again, the nickel finish, and these are the Moen options. So that way you have that elegant feature there in your shower. And then we have pocket door number two that separates the bathroom from your bedroom. And as you make your way into the bedroom, you'll see this is why this is a fan favorite here at Recreational Resort Cottages, a 15 foot wide model because you can fit a king size bed in a tiny home. Where do they do that at? Recreational Resort Cottages, you were right. So there you go. So you have enough space where you can put a king size bed in here, put nightstands on each side before somebody runs to the comments and says, you can't put that in there. You can't put that in a tiny home. Didn't I say I do the series Living Tiny with Mr. Tiny? Go watch a couple of videos and you'll see clients with king size beds in their homes, this model particularly, and you'll see that you have enough space on each side for the nightstands as well. And even with the storage closets here with a built-in dresser between with four drawers, again, because your bed could be in here, we either like to do barn doors or the bifolds. So that way you can open them up and see that it opens, closes back, and there's no swing out onto your bed space. It is prepped as well for a TV uh, up top if you wanted to do so, so you have that convenience. And again, guys, this is a great option if you're currently in the market for a 399 square foot tiny home and want to downsize but don't want to downsize your bed, you can do so with the Tumbleweed Pine Palace. And again, look here with this interior door in the real wood finish we do it right this is none of that hollow core crap that you'll see down the street this is solid pine here in the tumbleweed also you'll see here leading up from the main floor up to the loft we have the open riser stairs here that are stained in hickory and we've even added the additional accent of the southern yellow pine stained in hickory here on the staircase wall we can get a good shot of the loft rails there we finish those out in gray stain now follow me up to the loft so you can see how much space and opportunity you have to utilize in the tumbleweed pine palace now we're in the loft of the tumbleweed pine palace and again guys if you already know that the tumbleweed is the most popular floor plan that we offer then you know another reason for it being so is due to the loft space you have plenty of space and opportunity to have here in the loft, whether you want to use this as storage, additional sleeping, an office, or it is large enough where you could split and do both things or a few things here where you got storage on one side, office space on the other side. The list goes on. It is your option, but with having this space up here, it gives you extra capabilities and it's like a cherry on top of a already magnificent floor plan we kept the texas oak flooring going here in the loft for ease of access ease of cleanliness also we have the clear story windows on each side of the loft you can even get a better look of the southern yellow pine ceiling right here in the loft as well and speaking of look get a great look of the rest of the interior here from the loft view you can see 399 square feet never felt so sweet than right here in the tumbleweed pine palace again guys i can go on and on about this floor plan but this right here sells itself because of the functionality of the floor plan the 15 feet of width 34 feet of length including that eight foot front porch and again it's on sale today for 95K, 95,000. Again, you'll get everything that you see besides furniture and decor. So if you enjoyed this video, you know how you can help me. You can help me by hitting that like button. So that way this video spreads throughout the algorithm and helps in, be in front of clients that are currently in the market for a tiny home. That is how you can help me and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're subscribed, like you should be, you're part of the family. If you have not hit that subscribe button already, but you've made it this far, hit that subscribe button so you can show your support and you can get these videos each and every week. Also, leave a comment. Let me know 
If you are still in love with the tumbleweed floor plan, you want me to show you more, and if you enjoy us doing this tumbleweed floor plan, this time in the pine forest finish. That, I feel, is a great pop from the exterior, and I hope you enjoy that as well. If you're interested in securing a tumbleweed pine palace, this home, as well as any others, today, you know what to do. Run on over to Instagram, at the Mr. Tiny, at T-H-E-M-R-T-I-N-Y. You can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Tumbleweed Pine Palace, as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. So you can contact me day or night, and I'll make sure that price is right. Until next time, my name is Mike, Mr. Tiny, Timmons. And I'll see you next Tiny Home Tuesday.